Welcome back to Critical Hit Radio. I'm Johnny Raiden, and this is Ricky Juno. And today we are going to review Ape Escape 3. Ape Escape 3 is a PS2 exclusive that was released in 2005 in Japan and was released in America almost six months later in 2006. Developed in-house, the Ape Escape franchise is one of Sony's first IPs on a trail to match the standards of Nintendo. Ape Escape 3 is a strange combination of stealth and platforming of what can best be described as Super Mario 64 meets Metal Gear Solid with monkeys. I personally never played Ape Escape 2. However, the first Ape Escape was the game that started the cult classic. The first game seemed slightly confused in its audience, though. It was a very childish game filled with innuendo. The story of this game is so ridiculous and campy. Why don't you explain, Ricky? The whole point of the game is to defeat the evil monkey genius Spectre, who has once again escaped from his cage and has schemed some nefarious plot for world domination. This time, he's decided it would be a good idea to brainwash everyone through television by making B-grade movie parodies where every actor is a monkey. Television that makes people stupid? Isn't that what a lot of television programs already do? Oh, John, the plot's only relevant if you watch MTV. There's nothing wrong with the cheesy plotline, because quite frankly, the voice work in this game is actually decent. Being someone who welcomes self-obviating humor, it's rather Ape Escape 3's writing that's cringeworthy and will actually make you laugh from time to time. The main objective is to stop Spectre from brainwashing all non-monkey kind into his mindless slaves. The character's plan is to, at first, stop the brainwashing movies one by one, and as time goes on, you get deeper and deeper into the villainous movie-making studio. Capturing the monkeys is a fairly simple task, and overcoming obstacles with your gadgets is a nod to games such as Metroid and The Legend of Zelda. Time Attack is the other game mode, and boy is it relentless. You could capture 10 monkeys in 30 seconds and it would give you a bronze medal or maybe even try again. Seriously? The difficulty curve just went through the roof and destroyed half of Mars. Regarding the game's difficulty level, I must address the controls. The controls of Ape Escape 3 are rather unique but also interfere with the camera. The tools you acquire known as gadgets are utilized with the right analog stick and rightfully so require finesse to snag every monkey. However, assigning the gadget controls to the right analog stick presents the fatal flaw of no free camera, an industry standard for platforming games by 2006. While the camera can be pointed with the L1 button, the constant adjusting of the camera can make some monkeys inconveniently difficult to capture as a result of them running off the visual screen. You may have noticed from our previous reviews that both Ricky and I are suckers for cartoonish art styles in video games. The visuals are very simple and cartoony, and I do like that style. However, I would have rather them been much more ambitious with their attention to detail. Everything seems very bland to me. The graphics in the first game on the PlayStation 1 had much better detail in my opinion. For a late PS2 game, Ape Escape 3 plays it safe with a simple art style, and frankly that's probably for the greater good because the system was starting to show its age, and not to mention it wasn't quite as powerful as the GameCube or the Xbox. The music is very upbeat and varies greatly in genre. The only real serious music is in the final level and during some of the boss fights, otherwise you're gonna just get some really happy ambience. I don't have much to say about the music in this game, other than that I find the music in this game to be very cheery, but maybe a little too cheery for my personal tastes. To me, Ape Escape 3 is a well-made game, but it's not for everyone. For starters, Ape Escape 3's humor is very anime-esque and many players may find it bizarre and at times mildly offensive. 
The quirky presentation of this game may also be a huge turnoff to many Western gamers, as it does come off to be designed for small children. I personally never played Ape Escape 2, however in the first game, you had questionable language and an innuendo joke every now and again. From the first to third game, it went from edgy to happy-go-lucky children's game. To complete the game 100%, you not only have to beat the game, but you also require a gold trophy on all time attacks, and that's nearly impossible by itself. Catching every monkey, buying everything from the store, and beating every minigame can give you a solid 90% completion though. Beating the game also unlocks survival mode. In this mode, you must catch every single monkey in a level before you can continue, starting at level 1 and ending with Spectre. You start with no lives, and you do not get lives from getting a high score. I give Ape Escape 3 a 7.0 out of 10. While it's nothing extraordinary, Ape Escape 3 is a solid game with minor flaws, most of which lie in the technical department. Ape Escape 3 also rides on the conventions that other games pioneered before it and doesn't exactly do it any better. It's not amongst my personal favorite PS2 games, but it's worth your attention. I give Ape Escape 3 a 5.0 out of 10. There's not too much new, but it's still a solid game. This game, however, is not for new players to the series. In fact, I'd say only rent the game if you can. I can only speak praises about the Metal Gear crossover, though. It's almost worth the money for that minigame alone. If you've played the first or second Ape Escape games and like them, you might want to pick this game up for a good nostalgia trip. Otherwise, I wouldn't really recommend it. And... Why is this a boss? What were they thinking? This guy's like some sort of pedophile or something. What is he doing in a child's game? See, I told you this game was on some degree offensive. That concludes our review for today, ladies and gentlemen. Please give this video a like, leave a positive or negative comment down below, and if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, tune in soon for our next review.